Ah, let's have a bit of a chat here. I liked a high value man's photo on a dating app and he rejected me because I'm fat. Now, <laughs> before we get into this, if you're thinking, oh boy, Spoon is gonna say some really real shit, isn't he? Oh yes, you betcha. Secondly, how the hell, and more importantly, why, did this make the news? A plus size mom, <laughs> fat is in marks in the title, but now we have plus size. Plus size is PC for fat, who the hell is this bullshit fooling? Claims she was harassed last month by a man on a dating app with self-proclaimed above average looks and high values. A month. This happened a month ago, but it makes the news now. Talk about a slow news day. It was so ridiculous that it was comical, Krista Brown told Kennedy News. Yes, your rejection was so funny to you, you went to the news. Who the hell believes this? Imagine going to the news with this. It says more about you than it does your so-called harasser. Brown, 36, said she downloaded the Christian dating app Plenty of Fish. Who the hell thinks Plenty of Fish is Christian? In November, after being single for three years. I wonder why. Who wants to bet she just didn't want to be lonely on the holidays for her third year running? She was unprepared for the cringeworthy communications she said she received from a match who turned out to be a mismatch. Who the hell wrote this crap? It's obviously a woman. Adriana Diaz, of course it was. The Minnesota budget support specialist recalled thinking the cyberspace Casanova, dear lord, talk about cringe, was kind of cute despite his pathetic mustache. Well, learn to spell mustache woman for one. And notice that she can judge his appearance. Totally fine, apparently. But he can't call out her weight. Very fair, that is. I mean, he can shave the mustache much the same way that you can shave the weight off your fat ass. She claims she swiped right but didn't message him. She says the unidentified man reached out to her in a big way. <laughs> I swear that last part was a dig at her way. He sent me a whole huge long paragraph asking why I think I'm worthy of dating him and what do I bring to the equation. He had a very condescending tone. He was so absolutely ridiculous, she lamented, which is woman speak for, I'm going to claim to be offended because I have no good answer to his question. At first I was offended. <laughs> I was petrified. <laughs> but yeah, look, case in point. But as I read through it, the more ridiculous it got, I just started shaking my head and laughing, which is a gallon top size of cope, as we will find out. As a matter of fact, I will bet money. This woman was sobbing hysterically. I can't even believe there are people out there who actually think like this, she continued. That is such a pathetically millennial female's mindset to have, that this woman was blown away by a man who said, I know my worth, why the hell would I bother with you? As if it's the first time she's ever met a man who told her the truth. And by the way, every real man thinks like this dude. Boys don't because they're limp wristed f***ers who bow to girls they put on a damn pedestal. Brown shared messages with Kennedy News, she said Prince not so charming send. The man appeared to brag about his home renovation and his above average appearance, insisting Brown should have disqualified herself from matching with him for a multitude of reasons, including being big, chubby, fat. Brown says she is a size 18. Size 18 is about 85 to 90 kilos. That's 180 to 200 pounds. You're definitely fat as fuck. He seemed to rationalize that he might have considered dating Brown if she was at least a virgin, but assumed she's not because she has two kids. Well, naturally, she's hardly the Virgin Mary now, is she? Brown allegedly put the ruthless Romeo in his place. Yeah, I'm sure she did. Explaining that if he's intimidated by strong and independent women, he has some issues to work out on his own. Oh, fuck off. I am so sick of this bullshit lame excuse. Uh, strong and independent woman, which is code speak for I'm an opinionated bitch. Any guy who hears a woman who describes herself like that, there is a reason why they're single. I mean, heaven's sake, strong and independent, but I went to the news because of an interaction I had with a stranger on a dating app who schooled my rotunda rump. I'm all for honesty. <clears throat> wrong, wrong, no you're not. But there's something called tact and respect that it sounds like you are severely lacking. I am not the girl for you, her response read. Yes, and I'm sure he is just terribly heartbroken after giving you PTSD with a dose of this magnificent drug we all call reality. Instead of just leaving the uncomfortable situation alone, I think she was the only one that was uncomfortable. The blokish bachelor allegedly continued to insult Brown by calling her selfish for assuming he would want to date a woman with children, whom he referred to as baggage. <laughs> Oof, rough. Brown says she had to block the pernicious playboy, not wanting to hear any more of his hatred, otherwise known as facts. Mental health specialists have been sounding the alarm in recent years about the 
Concerning global rise in incel culture and online abuse of women. Well then take your bloated bovine behind off social media then. Problem solved. Incels are defined by the Anti-Defamation League as an extremist group of heterosexual men who blame women and society for the lack of romantic success. What the fuck? How the hell did incels become an extremist group? Holy shit, that's insane. Brown reveals she struggles with her mental health, but is at a good place in her life. You know what helps with that? Losing weight. She warned that hateful messages like those she provided Kennedy News could have been devastating for some women. That includes herself, by the way. Something like that could have been so damaging if someone actually took his words to heart. Yes, I might also lose weight. Brown said, if you're trying to get a woman, being rude and condescending isn't the way to go about it. I do love it when women on dating sites who can't get a man feel the need to tell other men how to get women. Dating sites are just a meat market anyway. It's one step away from whoring. And anyone who disagrees with me on that, you can kiss my ass. By the way, this is the woman in question. Every guy who's been around any digital space knows any chick who posts a pic from that angle is either trying to show off her chest or hide her weight. Cut the bullshit. Now, you know what's very interesting about this article? Well, not much admittedly, but it does feature none of her side of the conversation, only what she allegedly told the dude. But what the guy said was published. I wonder why. So let's see what the dude supposedly said because we have no idea where those chats came from, mind you. Anyone could have written that. What makes you think we're compatible? I bought my own home at 20, completely remodeled it since then, by myself. Doesn't mean trim and paint, it means I took out 20 feet of wall, rewired, replumbed, insulated, sheetrock, new window siding, roof. Basically a new house. Yes, I'm shallow. No, guys don't care about what women have accomplished in life. No, men don't want a strong, independent, opinionated woman. Correct. Men want to feel needed. They want looks, youth and inexperience. Correct. The fact that I'm above average in looks, slender, decent shape, good hygiene and cute, puts me solidly above a 5. No, not all women are 10s. Some have to be 1s, 2s, 3s and 4s. Should be enough for you to disqualify yourself. I guess unless you're a virgin, which is very unlikely, even then pushing it, seeing as you are overweight, which tells me you lack self-discipline and motivation. No one wants to be big, chubby and fat. I know this seems like a mean message, nope, I'm loving the honesty actually, but it's not. It's just reality and seems mean because people are so detached from that thing, that thing called reality. Sorry, why do women hold such high standards for men, you haunting my profile along with the other women who do tell me that, I'm not just pulling shit out of my ass, yet don't allow men to have standards? Very good question. Pain is a good motivator. You are either going to get yourself out of it or you're going to regress. I do not believe in depression. If you're depressed, it's because your life depresses you. Medication just numbs the pain, so you're okay with the BS. You're selfish for even hitting me up. Holy shit, this is gloriously blunt. I don't have kids. You really think I want to come in and have any responsibility in shaping and forming and caring for some other dude's kids? Relationships are not about happiness, it's about duty to family. People need to learn that. People keep sugarcoating everything and everyone is living in a delusional world. You think over half the guys in the world think that obese woman on Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition is hot? No. Yet she got the cover even with her lack of motivation, lack of self-discipline, lack of effort over all the gorgeous women who stayed in shape, ate healthy. Like what the fuck is wrong with the world? Actions have consequences. You're just triggered that I know my value. I know I'm a high value man and believe it or not, men are actually okay with being alone. Women are not biologically and scientifically true. That's why one third of women are on anxiety, depression meds and the unhappiest they've ever been in recorded history. Women are so stuck in their delusions, they don't even look up what's happening in the world. Their selfishness is hurting kids. Look up statistics on single motherhood households versus single fatherhood households. Look up the difference in having a biological father in the house and my kids are different. They won't end up a statistic, said every single single mother ever. Are you doing any research on the male role in a child's upbringing and trying to incorporate it yourself? No, like stop talking you have no idea. Drop your standards in looks, date a man who actually feels lucky to date you. Then you wouldn't have so much issues with past relationships. Plus you think I want to deal with that baggage? Ah, so we can tell he wasn't referring to the kids as baggage. Adriana, you slimy wench. Get over it. Not the next guy's fault that the last guy you picked was a douchebag. I'm sure you got a dude friend zone that's an amazing dude and would love to date you. But he doesn't fit in your dick metrics. Only problem is you need to look for a father, not a fuck. A dad, not a dick. Quit being selfish and put 
put your kids first. Who is this man? Who is this man and can I buy him a beer? He sounds like good people. Seriously, more men need to speak to women like this bloke. Straight up, blunt force, no fucking around. Our society would be infinitely better if men carried this kind of attitude. Stand up straight, know your worth, and don't give attention to these low-value wenches who come scratching at your shins. Tell them to kick dust and fuck off. Trust me, the only women who find this attitude offensive and it scares them off are women who are not worthy of your time to begin with. Because the reality is, women who was raised well by a good father who knows the value of a male would find this man's attitude extremely attractive. All of that crap of toxic masculinity, that's feminist bullshit with penis envy, that's all that is. What's sexist to a feminist is sexy to a real woman. I should put that on a t-shirt, that's a good slogan actually. But come on, let's get real. Women value men for their status, and men value women for their youth and innocence. No man wants a lass with a body count higher than Clinton's kill list. You know what continues to boggle my mind about these kind of stories? If you took this dude, and you put him in, I would say, almost any decade in the previous century, he would just be a regular guy. But now because we have these entitled feminists all over the joint, now this kind of attitude is a problem rather than a solution. And again, notice none of what she said is posted, only his. Now notice, nothing he said was addressed, not a single damn point. There is a reason for that, because this woman's ego is so damn fragile and out of freaking control that she went whining to the damn news because a stranger on a dating app got too real and made her cry. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.